Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today, I'm going to teach you how to reconcile your bank account in QuickBooks Online. This is one of our free 46 QuickBooks Online tutorials that you can find by Googling Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online Tutorials. So, let's get started at our QuickBooks dashboard. So, in order to do a bank reconciliation, there are several ways you can get to it. I like to go to Accounting, Reconcile. Okay, let's reconcile our business checking account. Okay, and so this brings us our beginning balance. Now I've made a sample bank statement that we're going to use. So just a very simple bank statement. Our beginning, our beginning balance matches. And now we want to enter our ending balance, which is 8,065.94. So this comes from your bank statement. and our ending date is October 20th. Okay, so let's start reconciling. Okay, so up top here it's going to show you your statement ending date plus and minus anything that you mark as being cleared and that gives you your cleared balance. Okay, so um, Let's go through here and let's close the screen so we can see. Now we're going to trace our transactions from this screen. Oh, so, okay. Uh, we've, we've transferred all of these transactions over from our uh, bank account in our electronic uh, bank feed. So it automatically marks them as being cleared. I don't like that. That's confusing. I like to do it all manually. Okay, so I'm going to unselect them. And good. Um, so, okay, so let's trace from these transactions to our bank statement. So we have a utility bill from Verizon of 363.57. Yes, there's the 363.57. If it was a piece of paper, I'd put a check mark on it. Here, I'm just going to put a one next to it. That means that we've traced it. So 363.57. Now we have these bank fees. So we have a bank fee and then sales tax on the bank fee and then they were waived. So 7.45 and 45 cents. We're going to trace all four of these at the same time over to our bank statement. And here we see them. Okay, we have a $75 check number 5021 check 525021 is 294.25 well that's wrong isn't it so let's flip back here we see here 294.25 is actually check 5022 so we can do some investigation find figure out which is right well here let's say our bank statement is right so that's actually check 5021 so we can go in here open this check and we can actually change the check number to 5021 to match our bank statement because our books were incorrect Now it's telling us we already have another check 5021. Do you want to save it anyway? Yes. Now we know this 5021 is incorrect, so we can go in here and let's just put a question mark after it. I don't know if it'll allow us to do that. Okay, there we go. So this is a good example of as you're doing your bank reconciliation, you don't need to leave the reconciliation to make changes. Okay, we were able to correct this bank, uh, this check number based on our bank statement. And now we can clear it. So 294.25, come over here, 294.25. Okay. Um, the $75, let's go over here. And the $75 doesn't show up here, which isn't surprising for a check, right? This is a paper check, and so the paper check just hasn't cleared the bank yet. 
And so it's going to be an outstanding check, so we're not going to check it off. Okay, we have a deposit of 1250 and a deposit of 1212. So let's go over here. A deposit of 1212 and a deposit of 1250. Very good. So those are both there. We can check them off as cleared. Okay, and now we have a ch an expense of 109.21. Let's go over here. 109.21. Okay, so go back here. This is marked off. Okay, so we can go. We can see that everything in our QuickBooks is on our bank statement except for this one paper check, which is fine. It's a paper check. It's probably just hasn't been uh, deposited by the vendor yet and made it to our bank. So this is fine everything looks good here now let's trace from our bank statement back to quickbooks and here we can see all of these have been ticked off except for this automatic insurance payment on october 1st so we can add that automatic insurance payment right that cleared our bank it's not in quickbooks that's a problem we need to enter it in quickbooks so insurance expense of 153.21 Okay, so can we add a transaction here? I don't see a way to add a brand new transaction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on expense. I'm actually just going to hover over expense and then go to expenses and I'm going to right click and open a new tab. So you don't have to, you can have multiple tabs open in QuickBooks Online at the same time. That's a nice little time saver. Okay, so let's add a new expense for this insurance bill. Uh, not sure we have a vendor yet for insurance. Uh, let's just call it New York City Insurance. Okay, it comes out of business checking. That's good. Um, the the payment date was October first, according to the bank. Okay, and it was automatic withdrawal. Um, category. Let's just call it insurance. Okay, and let's select the class as admin because in our settings we've chosen to always track classes for all expenses. Okay, so we can do save and close. Okay, now let's go back, switch tabs back to our reconciliation. And now we'll have to refresh the screen in order for the effect to take, the change to take effect. Now we should show that transaction as being uncleared. Yes, we do. Here is the Oh, <laughs> I think I forgot to put an amount in there. So the pay, the amount should be 153.21. So we can modify that right here. Let's just click on it. 153.21. Save. And now we can click it here. Go back to our statement. 153.21, mark it as cleared on our statement, and there we go. We can see our difference is zero. So our ending statement balance is 8,065.94, and then we have our beginning balance minus the six payments that we've showed as cleared here, plus the four deposits we've shown as cleared here equals our cleared balance. Our statement ending balance equals our cleared balance, so that is great. Okay, so we are reconciled. Notice this one account, this one transaction that's not cleared, that's our outstanding check. That's going to show up next month as an outstanding transaction in the same list of transactions. We'll mark it off when it clears next month. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish our reconciliation. You have reconciled the, re the account. We can view our reconciliation report. Okay, shows 
all of the expenses that cleared, all of the deposits that cleared, and then it shows this uncleared check of $75, commonly called an outstanding check of $75. So you want to keep an eye on these outstanding, these, un, these uh, uncleared checks, because if you get a check that ends up being, you know, nine months old and it's never cleared, you might want to follow up with that vendor, see if the check got lost, maybe you have to issue a new check, um, something like that. But this is only this is only a few days. This was only written four days before the statement date, so it's not surprising that it hasn't cleared the bank yet. Okay, so you can print that if you'd like, and that is how you reconcile your checking account in QuickBooks Online. Please check out our other 46 free tutorials by googling Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online Tutorials.